Hey everybody, thanks again for joining us on the Cigar Titan YouTube channel. I'm joined once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to people. What up, Cigar family? Today we are going to be talking about cigar stereotypes or cigar myths. What are they? How can you avoid them? Should you even care? Just tell me a little bit about that, Brother Stogie. And today these will be stereotypes that have pretty much put a dim light on the cigar society. And today, myself and Cigar Titan are going to clear the air. You ready to get started? Let's rock. Hey everybody, welcome back. But before we get into this, Brother Stogie, why don't you tell the people what they need to do? Hey, before we get started, go and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and if you're new to the channel, hit that bell button so you get a new notification every time a new video pops up. Brother Stogie, what would a Cigar Titan YouTube video be without cigars? Nothing. So let's get these cut up. So I know what you're thinking, Cigar Titan, what are cigar stereotypes? What are these cigar myths you're talking about? What I'm talking about is the often ill-advised information you see or hear from people who are out of touch with the cigar community. So Brother Stogie and I are gonna discuss what those cigar stereotypes are today and try to shed a little bit of light on those topics. So one of the stereotypes that I have noticed that has dimmed the light the most on the cigar community is a stereotype that only men smoke cigars. I say this because it's simply not true. I have seen more than a handful of women out there enjoying stogies right alongside men. And trust me, being out there in your cigar lounge, being out there socializing, nothing's better than to have a woman next to you enjoying stogie right along with you. That's the great thing about the cigar community is it's all inclusive. It's about bringing people together and enjoying the cigar smoking experience. Another stereotype or stigma you may have heard of is that cigars are only meant for the uber wealthy. Let's be honest, cigars are made for anybody who's willing to enjoy them. If only the uber wealthy bought cigars, many of the cigar companies that are out now would cease to exist. This is simply just not true. You oftentimes see this image portrayed in magazines and the cigar used as a prop to project this lifestyle of luxury. When in reality, the majority of the cigar smokers out there are no different than you and I. Next, I'll get into the stereotype that everyone must have an expertise level of knowledge about smoking cigars. That's not true either. The best thing about this experience is that I didn't know much about cigars when I first began six years ago. And the best part about it for me was I was able to learn everything and I'm still learning to this day. For many of us, when we're first starting out, we don't really know any better. And it's really about what we've seen before or what's familiar to us. My cigar journey is pretty well documented at this point. And everybody knows I started off by smoking Dutch Masters President Cigars. I had no knowledge of cigars at that time, but it was that initial experience that got me into this community. It was over time that I eventually learned more and more about the cigar experience. It was because of that initial experience that my knowledge on cigars continued to grow. I became very fascinated with the whole cigar community how cigars were grown, what goes into making a cigar, the cigar rolling experience, and I still continue to learn more and more about the cigar industry to this day. And as for me, I played it safe. I stayed with your flavored, your infused cigars. I thought that was the way to go for me. But now I've been able to venture off and try the medium body cigar, full body cigars, and now I've been able to enjoy the journey of actually learning about where the cigars come from, I've been able to find out the origins of my cigars, different types of wrappers, et cetera, et cetera. The list just goes on and on. Another stereotype I've often heard is that cigar smoking is only for old men or for your grandfather. Again, this is simply not true. Now, it should go without some saying that there are a fair bit of older folks out there that absolutely enjoy the cigar smoking experience. My grandfather was a cigar smoker. My grandfather used to enjoy pipes. I think as you've seen cigars become more mainstream through movies, TV, magazines, 
This has brought in a new, fresh, young batch of cigar smokers. These beautiful creations are no longer just for your grandfather. So Brother Stogie, what's the one thing cigar smoking can do for you? Cigar smoking can make you look like a boss. Like a boss? Like a boss. Like a boss. Like Rick Ross, like a boss. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> and it does. Boss or boss at. Cigar smoking just brings out that chill, that elegance out of you. What are you doing? Being a cigar boss. Get your foot off the table. Have some class. Have mercy. As I was saying, smoke cigar just brings out the inner boss in everybody. So that's it for today, guys. We'd love to hear what some of your cigar stereotypes are. Please leave those down in the comments below. We'd like to hear from you. Until next time, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's smooth, baby. Take care, everybody.